in the angle side theorem, in a triangle, the longest side is opposite the largest angle, and the shortest side is opposite the smallest angle. For example, on this first one, we're looking at angle measures. Remember that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So 35 plus 110 plus whatever this measure is, is 180. Then we must solve to see what our missing angle is. These two added together is 145. And then we can subtract to figure out our third angle. So our third angle is 35. So A is 35 degrees, B is 110, and C is 35. Since this is the largest angle, the line that is across from that is the longest line. This is kind of easy to see, so let's look at another one. On this one, we're just looking at side lengths. So we have a side length of 4, 8, and 6. So the longest side is going to be 8, which means our largest angle is directly across from that, which is angle F. And for our last one, on this one, our largest sides are both 8, which would make angle Y and angle Z both our largest angles.